Cancer, welcome to your first reading for 2023 with me, Adrian Nelson, your psychic tarot reader. I hope that you had a wonderful, wonderful New Year celebration. And my heart's wish and desire and prayer is that 2023 is the best year of your entire life. Okay, so this is a reading for love. We're just sort of focusing across the whole 2023. Um, and then obviously in the weekly readings, you know, we're taking a little bit more of a detailed look. It is a general reading, so please take it as it resonates. To all of you who've been so beautifully supporting me, I really do appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. And if it's your first time, I'd like to welcome you, and I hope that you would consider subscribing to the channel. Okay, so what do we have for love for cancer? This card went around. And the energy that we have here for you is the Seven of Wands. And it speaks about Valor. I really love this. I really, really love this. Because if you look at this card, you will see it's pretty much balanced on both sides. You know? And then there's a little uniqueness there and a little uniqueness there. So you are in this energy where there's a beautiful connection of hearts, which is amazing. Um... A, a, a very authentic heart connection of two people and you both have honorable intentions there's no funky business going on here you know this is two people that are serious about love and i'm not talking about never smiling or anything like that but you know if you are in a space where you are open for love that is not just sort of like a flash in a pan, it's not just sleeping together and that sort of stuff, but it's a real fundamental connection. Either you already know this person and you are busy drawing closer to one another, or it's a new person coming in, but it's 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 like a positive magnetic draw. Okay, let's take a little bit of a deeper look and see what we got for you, my beautiful Luna babies. I hope that you're doing great. What do we have? for Cancer for Love, please, for 2023. And I, I like the way that this is happening. It's not rushed. It's, it's not slow, it's not delayed, but it's not rushed, you know? It's just perfect in a way. Very easy flow, okay? So we got the Empress, the Knight of Cups, and the Knight of Swords. So you are both still making some decisions here. All right, the Empress is all about abundance. You, you both still making some decisions here. Uh, I feel that everything is not fully decided upon yet, so some decisions do need to be made. Um, some conversations do need to be had. Um, maybe either you or the other person just needs to get some clarity about, you know, what they allow, what they don't allow, what they're on board with, what they're not on board with. Um, but again, I like this because it's not sort of just a, it's not a fast thing. Okay? It's a very responsible approach to things. I love that very, very much. Um, and then you've got the Knight of Cups. I do see you reaching out to this person first or giving your heart first or... You know, maybe you just know each other, or maybe you're friends, but I do see you um, sort of like reaching out first. And <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like in typical cancer style, I see you giving it to them all at once. So I like you, and this is what I want, and da 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 da, like, like very detailed, very all at once kind of scaring them off a little bit um but i also feel that you're dealing with somebody that does appreciate honesty i do feel that you know and, and maybe these are all very recent developments maybe over like the last two or three months or something like that i it's it's i won't say you're pulling away from this person but it's almost like this connection it may feel to you is going neither backwards nor forwards so you're like nah, well okay you know, maybe, maybe it wasn't meant to happen, that sort of thing. Um, but this person is pursuing you like nobody's business. So you sort of drawing, drawing just a little bit back, you know, and sometimes that is a good thing. 
So I don't see you saying, oh, fuck you, you know, that sort of thing. No, no, no. It's just sort of taking just a little bit of a back step. You know, maybe you've been a little bit pushy. Maybe you've been texting them nonstop and that sort of thing. And so there's a space here of saying like, well, maybe I want to send them a text. So, okay, let's, let's, let's chill it a little. You know, that sort of thing. Which may make that person realize that maybe you're not going to sit around and just, you know, peacefully wait around for them forever. So they are really, really getting on board. Okay. Let's clarify. Let's clarify the Empress energy. They're definitely pursuing you. Um, clarifying the Empress, you've got the King of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, and the Judgment Energy. Oh, that is nice. I like that very much. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so you are ready for love. Would have probably taken you a while to get here because, you know, a lot of people go through life. Married, having families, but they never really, yeah, they... You know, they don't, I mean, if I take, think of an example of my own life, for example, you know, I was quite surprised a couple of years ago, I was invited to, it was almost like a one day sort of thing for, you know, um, um, this was for men specifically, for gay people, you know, kind of like supporting them, getting out of the closet and stuff like that. And I was in my, I think I was in my mid twenties at the time, late twenties, if I remember correctly, and I'm 40 now. But I was very surprised because there were men of like 65 and 70 that were, you know, having the whole family life together, but, you know, never really together. And so sometimes people can go through life like that. Okay. But for you, you are ready for the real deal. Okay. You are really, really, you are really ready for the deal. You know? So it's like you just want to be ready. You are ready. Uh, and that's why there's a sense of calm there. So if it works, it works. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. It's almost like a knowing that it will work because you're ready. You know, even if it's not with the person that you envisioned it with. Positive changes here. Is it working with that person that you've got your heart set on? Yes, it is. And um, now I'm going to be honest with you and I don't want you to... I don't want you to lose it when I say this. But you might be dealing with someone that may still a little bit be holding out to possibly be with someone else or possibly be with a different person or that sort of thing. But they're releasing that pretty fast. Okay? And, and I, in some ways, even you. So it's not just them. It's you as well. Um, where maybe you have options available to be with someone else. But I feel it's almost like you are... Um, how do I say this? Um easing out those other options okay that's a good thing that's an honest thing clarifying the knight of cups the first card we've got out there is the seven of swords the ace of swords and the three of swords okay so you really thought about this love connection so it wasn't just a space of feeling your emotions oh i like them you know i'd like a piece of that and that no 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 was more more than that. And I also feel that one of the reasons why maybe you wanted to let that person know exactly how you feel is that you were afraid maybe afterwards you wouldn't. And you didn't want this to just become one of those dwindling connections that just sort of like blah, blah on again, you know, which is great because you really faced your fears. You were really brave there. And um, you may or may not realize this, but this, it was spirit leading you. You were guided by the universe to let that person know how you feel because I wouldn't say they were close off to being with you. Now, remember that whole thing of like letting the other people go. Don't let that freak you out because remember you're both doing that. You know, and it's a good thing if you're going to be with someone, you need to sort of have that clear line of I'm going to be with this person and not with those. It's keeping those back door opens that normally cause a shit in connections. Okay. Um, so you are dealing with someone that... You know, they, they actually appreciate the fact that you were brave. They realize that you were brave and your heart is ready. Okay. They almost can't believe that you feel this way about them. They can't believe it. Like they, they can't believe it. You know, um, they can't believe that you feel this way. With the Knight of Swords, you have the Five of Cups, the Five of Wands and the Hermit, which is Virgo energy. Okay, so 
Both of you are actually in the process of releasing some things. Life has dealt you some heavy blows, especially to the person that you are dealing with. I feel that they are still in the final stages of releasing something. Um, and it's almost like they didn't see their own value. You reminded them of their value. And they really appreciate you for that forever. Okay? Now you want to be careful, Cancer. There is a lot, there's a little touch of animosity that you're building up here that maybe you feel that your feelings were not reciprocated. Um, but simultaneously, I feel that you are also working through maybe some patterns within yourself that is holding you back. So you are both really getting ready for this beautiful connection. And then you have the Herbert energy there, beautiful Virgo energy. It's about work and routine. How do you make this work? You know, maybe there are some challenges. Maybe you're not in the same space. Maybe you're not in the same religion. And you know, all the social things that hold us back. So... The universe is quite clear on what it is that you want. Just be patient with this one, okay? Just be patient with them. You want them, they want you. Beautiful coming together here of energies. It's really happening for you. You just chill and let it happen, okay? If you are having some difficulty dealing with a situation, dealing with the past, you may want to give my guided meditation for deep forgiveness a shot. Um, it is part of my latest online um, course, but the first couple of lessons are free and this guided meditation forms part of that. It's called the Spiritual Awakening Starter Pack and the link for it is in the description. Um, so that's what I got for you, beautiful Cancers. I hope that this helps. I wish you all the best, love and light, and I will see you next week.